everybody, welcome to another awesome video with your screen friends, a heart panda. So since everybody has been getting <coughs> sick, me included, I have decided to share with you some um, Russian traditional remedies and medicine that's been passed down for generations. All of them have been used at me when I was younger, and actually some of them my mom and my grandma recommended me doing when I was sick, like this time. And I can't really vouch for their effectiveness, but like, it's been done for so many years. Please let me know in the comments down below any other treatments or some remedies that your grandparents or your parents have used on you and what's um, like a cure for everything in your family. So without further ado, here you guys go and I will explain all of the treatments and remedies in the end of this video. Ooh. Hello. <coughs> Hi, mom. What's wrong? Are you sick? Yeah, a little bit, but I'm already taking some <clears throat> take well. Are you wearing warm clothes? Are you staying in bed? Do you drink a lot of liquids? Yes, mom. I've been drinking plenty of water and I was taking vitamin C. What the? No, you need to drink hot tea. Иди чай с ромашкой и медом пей и с вареньем, которое бабушка передала. Okay, mom. I will go right now and I will make some tea. For Okay, I will call you later. Hello. You got sick? Hi, Babushka. Yeah, I'm, uh, I'm a little bit of sick, but I'm... Um... I'm about to drink some hot tea with chamomile and honey. Very good. Выпей uh, молока с содой и маслом. Wow, that sounds disgusting. It's good for your throat. Okay, I will. Oh. Hello? Did you finish your tea? Almost. I'm um, drinking milk with butter and soda right now. Good. Uh, make sure you... Prepolashi uh, gorla sode. Isn't it too much soda? No, no, no. It's good. You can also drink just uh, milk with honey. Well, now you tell me. Ugh. Finish your tea, go uh, gargle with soda, and eat the prepate. How are you feeling? Good. I'm um I'm about to lay down and cover myself up to like try to sweat it out. Don't um. Не забудь помазать звездочкой и горчичники поставить. There is like no way I can get all of that stuff right now. Okay. <laughs> I'm just gonna lay down and cover under the blankets and try to like really sweat it out, okay? Very good. Okay, bye. Thousand years later. Oh. Oh. Hello. I just finished sweating and I'm like all sweaty and I'm gonna go take a shower, okay? No, 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 no shower. Dry with 
the towel and then go change your clothes. Ew, mom, I'm like sweaty and I stink. Change and go boil potatoes. Why? Ну, чтобы ты над картошкой подышала от кашля и и go open the window so the room is fresh and nice. <coughs> okay, mom, bye. Hello, did you do it? Almost, mom. So put the towel over your head and let the uh, breathe in the potatoes. Also, um, uh, make a uh, jaune sacher. For what? It helps with your um, cashel. How are you? <coughs> I'm okay. Um, I'm about to breathe some uh, potatoes and then I'm gonna uh, make some burnt sugar for my cough. Very good. Um, Ritka, protortaya с медом очень хорошо для кашля. I don't think I have big white radish just laying around, but um, thanks. <coughs> I will definitely do this, but let me finish the potatoes first. Thank you. Where were we? <gasps> Hi, <clears throat> Mom, I think I'm like running a fever. No. Ну ты это полотенце уксусом намочи, на лоб положи. Because you are running all day like crazy here and there. You need to rest, lay down and rest. And drink a lot of tea. Mom, I couldn't do that with you and grandma telling me go do this, go do that. <coughs> and I have to go downstairs and grab the towel, this vinegar. Go do that and then drink more tea and then lay down. Yeah, mom, I will go do that and drink some hot tea and I'll rest, okay? Thank you. Bye. Uh, uh. Hey y'all, so these are some treatments and remedies that are 100% true and I, they have been used on me before. However, they're not as commonly used nowadays and my brother and sister got very lucky. <laughs> First of all, I think it's worth mentioning some of the remedies and treatments that you do to prevent getting sick in the first place. So in Russia, because the weather changes constantly and like one day it's like, oh, it's summer, it's hot, I'm just gonna wear a t-shirt and shorts and next thing you know, it's raining, it's cold, it's windy, so you're getting sick. So very important thing is to dress up for weather. 
So you look outside and you're like, hey, or you look at your forecast and you're like, hey, so I wanted to wear this, but I should definitely wear this instead. In my family in particular, when I was a teenager, my dad decided to start Marshavat, which is basically you go to the river, you take a big ice pick and you make a hole in the ice in the river and then you swim inside you like get inside it supposedly has to strengthen your immune system and help you to like not get sick in the first place and it was used uh, when like long time ago in russia like not a lot of people do that nowadays like my dad is the only person who i know personally like this who does that also in my family eating garlic and green onion was like the biggest thing that you can do in order for you to prevent getting sick during the cold and flu season usually people take some vitamin c when they're feeling like it's a cold flu season but no 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 in my family we had a bowl of like garlic cloves and green onion strains and during usually the lunch or dinner won't have it so you bite it into the clove of garlic and then you maybe like dip it in a salt a little bit like a little dip and then you eat it like a couple of garlic cloves and the same you do with the green onions. When I came to US and I've uh, done it in front of a person who currently was employed at the garlic factory, they looked at me and they're like, hey, this is a lethal dose of garlic, you shouldn't do it. And I was like, what are you talking about? So Russians are known of drinking a lot of tea. It's like a holy grail for Russians, tea, not vodka, tea! First thing when you come to somebody else's house in Russia, they will offer you tea and everybody's gonna offer you tea. After each meal, usually people drink tea. So no wonder when you are sick, you drink a lot of tea. I was not allowed to drink water when I was sick. It was only tea, 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 camel tea, uh, rose hip tea, any other weird herb tea and then some honey if I didn't have high fever and a lot of varenia which is jam so my grandma would usually make some uh, strawberry jam she'll make like apricot jam like apple jam and then she'll make uh, red currant black currant uh, raspberry and like such such things so there will be a source of vitamin C with your tea and while doing the research for this video to make sure that the things that my parents did to me and my grandparents are like the same similar to other Russians I have found that some Russians take hot boiling milk then they grind one onion into it leave it for 10 minutes and then they drink it I am so grateful my parents didn't do it also one of the less common cures and remedy for everything is Urinotherapy, and that's basically use of your um, urine in order to help and fix you either externally or internally. And I only knew one person who, like, whose grandparents like forced them to do it, and that was about it. So I think I worth it's worth mentioning that some people do it, but I know nothing about it. So if do your own research. <laughs> I just recently figured out that burning the sugar, the burnt sugar, jaune sacher. This actually was given to me when I was younger for my cough. I thought it was just like a fun candy thing, but apparently my mom, like this time I was sick and I had dry cough and she was like, yeah, like do it. It will help with your cough. And I was like, wow, I didn't know this. And when I came to the United States, I remember how to make caramel because we called that like lidinets, like a lollipop or a candy when I was younger. Me and my grandma would do it. We'd like stick a... Uh, um, you'll stick a toothpick in it and it becomes like a little lollipop. It tastes like burnt, but it's a little lollipop that you made yourself basically. So cool. So I've decided to make caramel apples one Halloween. And instead of using caramel candies, I use just sugar. So I did like a big pot of burnt sugar. It hardened so much around the apple and it was unedible. But anyway, some of my least favorite remedies of all time were garchichniki which is dry mustard seed and it comes like in a little tea packet thing and then you put them on the soles of your feet and then you put socks and you don't take them off some people don't take it off for two to three days and so my family would have to leave it for a while so basically the moment i get sick and i'm not feeling well and i don't have like super high fever i would have to lay down drink 
so much hot tea and I like I don't like tea much so it was like ugh, I hated it so I drink a lot of tea and then they will put the gachichniki on my feet and then they will just tuck me in and I'll have to sweat my sickness out and I absolutely hated it and also my mom didn't let me watch anything during like that two hours that I had to be under the blanket with my feet burning so bad with my body is just like sweating everything out and then I was not able to shower after this. True story. Apparently you're not supposed to shower when you're sick. Who would have thought? So in conclusion, I think my brother and sister have it good because I know for a fact my family doesn't follow through with all of those like natural home, home remedies anymore during the sickness. They take antibiotics, they go to doctors, they do all of the things that they should be doing, I feel like. Uh, of course, there's some that I've still been following. I was drinking a lot of tea, no water. I know for a fact Gav Chichniki died with me <laughs> after me because I hated them so much. But anyway, thanks so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video and you learned something new or just leave me in the comments down below some of the other cool remedies and things that um, or your family used to do to you or you still do to your family when they're getting sick. Maybe there's gonna be some useful cool information that I didn't know or some feels. So yeah, and during this cold harsh list season, I'm gonna give you something, something so to help you fight it. I'm gonna give you the panda power. Hope you can have a wonderful and amazing day. And I know everybody's getting sick right now and all of that yucky stuff. So I hope you're gonna be healthy and happy and uh, just enjoy the new year. And hopefully it brings so much joy and happiness. So just remember, you're an awesome potato. And you know what awesome potatoes do? Peace,